type of non price based indicators okay one of the non price based indicator is your put call ratio okay so as the name implies it is trying to find out the ratio between the number of put and the number of calls so in a market how many number of uh, put options have been uh, there and what is the number of call option so if put call ratio is very high it means that people are buying more puts as compared to call okay so it means that the people the market is bearish whereas if the put call ratio is very less it means that less number of put as compared to call it means that people are bullish and they are buying more call okay so that is the idea then you have another index which is a volatility index okay volatility index is computing the standard deviation or the volatility of the market and this is computed using the current option prices okay usually what happens is when the market is panicking okay or uh, people uh, or market is at extreme level you find that the volatility in the, uh, or people when they are expecting the market to decrease you find that volatility index it increases in value whereas when the market is not expected to change the volatility becomes smoother or it is it becomes a uh, lesser constant value you will this volatility index is a very good perception about what we call as the fear in the market and it is also called as fear index an example of volatility index is your cboe chicago board of option exchange okay uh, you have volatility index of that so if you see this is the volatility index from 2002 to 2011 and if you see in 2008 time we we saw that the market uh, decrease a lot because of panic uh, of the subprime crisis you see that the vix index it touch touched around 80 when the markets were doing good you see that the vix index was at a very low below 20 right so during panic time the market shoots uh, the volatility index shoots up okay whereas during good time the volatility index is lower in the value okay then the margin debt okay typically margin debt is the num uh, the debt that the people have in their margin account okay note that when people are expecting the market to go up people will buy stocks in the margin as a result the margin debt increases so during good time the margin debt increases during bad time the margin debt decreases so if margin debt increasing it means that people are bullish on the market right then the next indicator is the short interest ratio short interest rate ratio here we would compute just the number of stock shorted the number of stocks uh, shares shorted divided by the average volume divided by the average volume of the stock okay so it means that what is the percentage of the short with respect to the average volume if this is very high it means that people are expecting market to decrease and that is why they are shorting the stock please note that you have to solve example 4 of the cfa book because this is a uh, the type of example that then can come in the examination because for this we need to know the formula there is another index which is called as the arms index or it is also called as short trading index or trin in the short form trin is equal to is given as the number of advancing issue by number of declining issue into volume of declining issue by volume of advancing issue or we can write this number of advancing by number of declining okay divided by volume divided by volume of advancing by volume of declining okay so this is a uh, one formula so suppose in the stock market there are 100 stocks listed okay and 80 stocks are advancing and 20 stocks are declining so it is 80 by 20 suppose the volume of the advancing stock is 10000 okay and volume of the declining stock is let's say 20000 so suppose so this is 10000 divided by 20000 so this will give you a a trin indicator if this trin is high it means that the market is expecting that the stock prices will increase because advance are more as compared to the advancing stocks are more as compared to the one which are declining okay so please solve the example 4 of the book okay then you have a mutual fund cash position 
okay so mutual fund cash position is the uh, ca please note that mutual funds they have to maintain cash in their account because uh, somebody can withdraw the uh, money right now this cash position uh, typically is roughly around 6.5% on an average okay right now when mutual funds are bullish on the market when they are expecting that the stock prices will increase they will reduce their co cash position but when they are bearish they will increase their cash position so if it is if it is varying very much than the average then you so as an example suppose the mutual fund cash position is 15% you can think that the market is going to decline because they are expecting the mark uh, the market to decline if mutual fund cash position is 1% it means that the mutual fund manager are bullish in the uh, market so that's why they have less cash position okay then the next is the new equity issuance new equity issuance typically we see in the bull market the number of new issues that they that come increases whereas in the bear market the number of issues that they come it decreases so when the number of e e stock issuance increases it means that people are expecting the prices to increase okay please note that you need to solve example number 5 of the cfa book it covers all the it, it some it gives you an idea about what are the indicators giving in terms of which stock to whether the market will be increasing or decreasing